We are back for another episode of State Champs W's Hang Time Michigan from right here inside the SCSN studios on the campus of Lawrence Technological University. And we are talking about girls hoops right here in the state of Michigan. My name is Elizabeth Kuhn and joining me like she does every week is Lexi Ayala. Hang Time is powered by Lawrence Technological University. If you have the dream of playing college basketball, like I did, Lawrence Tech has athletic and academic scholarships right now, and you can recruit yourself by going to ltuathletics.com and clicking on the Recruit Yourself link. Each week we will interview a different girls basketball coach from around the state, sponsored by the Basketball Coaches Association of Michigan. And this week we had a conversation with Caledonia head coach Todd Bloomers and Holland West Ottawa Paul Chapman. And this week I want to touch on just changing things up having a good time. You'll see what I mean if you stick around, but right now, let's get into some of the games we covered last week on the network. We'll start things off with a Mac Red matchup as Gross Point North was home to take on Port Huron. It would be the Norsemen getting a three-point win, 37-34, to as they were led by Natalie Babcock with 11 and Sophia Borowski with 10. Gross Point North has a good little one-two punch with nice guard post play and team basketball that set guard Natalie Babcock and forward Sophia Borowski up for success. Babcock had strong drives and fast breaks for buckets and Babcock did a good job putting herself in positions to score and keeping her hands ready for the paint touches that propel the Norseman offense. Port Huron's Julia Gilbert capitalized off of underneath out of bounds plays designed for her to get it down low and go up strong and she did. She got two and once. We head up to the Genesee area as the tops in the Red Division squared off. Genesee Christian and Flint Beecher, the Soldiers, would remain perfect in league play, downing the Bucks 62-34. Genesee Christian was led by Ava Boyke, putting up 24 points, and Lainey Brewer added another 16. Liz, every single one of senior Ava Boyke's 24 points were historic against Beecher, and every single one of her points after that will continue to be until her time with the Soldiers is finished. I'll tell you why. Boyke became Genesee Christian's all-time leading scorer in their history. And she's not planning on letting up anytime soon. With her dad, DJ Boyke, leading the Soldiers as head coach, he has that father-daughter connection to push her to the limits to be her best. Boyke is a very versatile player, turning her tough defense into offense, nailing three-pointers, penetrating on drives, and even post-play. She never gives up on getting the offense going either. The second the ball leaves her hand, she's doing work off the ball, setting screens, cutting, popping, sliding, nonstop movement to get herself and her teammates opportunities to score. Guard Laney Brewer hit three threes by keeping her hands ready and trusting the offense against Beecher. The Soldiers pass down good shots for great shots, and Brewer's hands stays ready for the extra pass. In the Lakes Valley Conference, a battle for second place was Milford looking to close the gap, took on Lakeland. But the Eagles were too much as they got the win, 40-28. to Summer Amber led the way with 17, and Molly Libby added another 11. Forward Summer Amber excels in what post players have kind of evolved into, a Swiss Army Knife style. She can back defenders down inside with great control over the basketball with strong, hard dribbles, and she can get outside. She has a good long range shot, making herself a threat from inside and out. Basketball is also not even her main sport. Amber committed to play your sport, softball, at the next level with Spring Arbor. Guard Molly Libby was Lakeland's three-point specialist, knocking in key threes to keep this game out of reach for Milford. And let's wrap up this week on the west side with the CSAA game, Kent City looking to remain perfect in league play, and Morley Stanwood looking to play spoiler. But no spoilers here as Kent City Eagles improved to a 9-0, winning it 50-38. Madeline Gears led everybody with 12, and Lexi Bowers and Savannah Miller chipped in nine each. Kent City's guard Maddie Gears was looking to score wherever she was on the court. It's no surprise that she can hit shots from outside, but she was also working on some high post action, flashing up to the elbow, and once the ball was fed inside, she squared right up with the hoop. First thing you're supposed to think, score, and blew past defenders like they were just stationary dribble sticks. Liz, like you said, also guards Lexi Bowers and Savannah Miller with nine points each. And quick shout out to Lexi. You have a cool name, girl. And I wore 23 in high school, too. So Miss 23 was communicating and leading out there like LeBron James with drives, deep threes to back it up. And Miller's money spot was that corner three left open for target practice off strong screens from the Eagles. Hang Time is also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association. We need officials. More and more are retiring each year. It's a great way to make some good part-time money and to be sure the game of basketball continues to thrive in the state. 
Go to MHSAA.com for details. This show is also sponsored by the professionals with the Detroit Medical Center's Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine team. Check out this week's Game Changers pop quiz on the State Champs Michigan social media pages. And if you are injured for immediate care and appointment, just log on to dmc.org slash Game Changers. The Michigan Army National Guard is the official military outlet of the MHSAA. For more than 25 years, the greatest honor a Michigan high school student athlete can earn, the Detroit Athletic Club Foundation's High School Athlete of the Year. You're one of the tops in your sport, prioritize education and giving back. Like Cassius Winston, Megan Bobian, Rakia Jackson, and Aiden Hutchinson did. Six male and six female nominees earn $1,000 of scholarship money with $5,000 each to be awarded at an amazing red carpet gala in downtown Detroit in June. Nominations accepted through March 4th, but know this, you cannot be nominated if you don't apply. Download the application today at DACAthleteoftheyear.com. Attention Grand Rapids, starting right now, River City, Strikes gold. And a hammer for Drayvon Duvall. Gold is dug up from the shadows. Gold is worked and refined. It's a process. And when you finally see it, nothing shines quite like gold. We also invite you to listen to the Hangtime Companion Audio Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. We are thrilled to be partners once again with the Basketball Coaches Association of Michigan, and BCAM would like to celebrate our great game by promoting the new One Team program. The coaches want to set an example all season long by showing signs of unity at games and other events. This week we had the pleasure of talking with Coach Bloomers and Coach Chapman. Here's what they had to say about the One Team program. Yeah, so um, when Coach was going through uh, his medal emergency, we wanted to uh, you know, make sure that we were taking care of the players. and. Uh, I actually brought my girls back to the locker room once we knew that uh, all was stable. And uh, we we're talking about just, you know, how to change for whether or not we were going to play this game. Um, and, and just having some conversations, um, saying some prayers, making sure that uh, we were doing everything that we could to take care of our kids um, and make sure that uh, he was okay. And that conversation, our. Uh, Team captains, uh, Brinley Berry and Tori Woodwick, uh, and really the rest of the team that coach, we just really want to go see the kids, um, see the players from West Ottawa, and we'd like to just go make sure that they're okay, um, because we talked a little bit about, you know, if the table returned, how would they feel if, you know, I was in that situation, they expressed some, you know, some concerns about uh, how they would be feeling if they were in that same situation, and so... Uh, I went and asked Michelle, the JV coach uh, for West Ottawa, if it'd be okay if our girls uh, went in the locker room. And uh, really, the rest is it. Um, it was the kids, you know, taking the initiative. We've really done a lot with leadership training with our girls to try and make positive change uh, in our school. That's been one of the things that we've been trying to do. And uh, I was really proud that they, you know, obviously just there was a lot of unknown at that point. So they were concerned about West Ottawa's plays concerned about um, Coach Chapman and um, I was just proud of the way that they um, you know, showed empathy um, for the situation and the way that basketball became a little smart about what's going to happen that night. To hear the interview with Coach Bloomers and Coach Chapman in its entirety, you'll have to check out the State Champs W Hang Time Podcast wherever you get your podcast. Okay, it's time to get into Lexi's hot topic this week. Take it away. Okay, first things first. Liz, don't be a robot, be a basketball player. Okay, this means sometimes you have to say forget the play and allow the creative, reactive part of the game to take over to see the real magic happen. Don't be robots, be basketball players. I think this has to be repeated over and over again for basketball players, but especially for the female hoopers. The women's game is all about fundamentals and trusting the process, so it can be easy to get sucked into just following the plan following the play, following the rules. Think about when you're running through a play in practice and you've run through it so many times that you can literally do it in your sleep. Pass, cut, screen, curl, fill, flash, hello? What about score, look at the hoop? Who cares if the play wasn't made for you and you're not supposed to shoot that shot? I bet your coach isn't going to be mad if you make it. 
don't be robots, be basketball players. Let yourself have fun playing the game that you love and have the confidence to play the game by your own rules sometimes. If you have anything else to add or if you don't agree with Lexi, feel free to comment on our State Champs W social media pages or send us an email by using the contact page at statechampsnetwork.com. Well, believe it or not, playoffs start in just a few short weeks, so as we start to wrap up the season, let's let everyone know what's going on this week. It's coming up on us quick, Liz. On Thursday, Mac Red supremacy on the line as Macomb, Dakota hosts Gross Point North. In the Capital Area Blue Conference, first place up for grabs as East Lansing and DeWitt meet up to sort that one. And next Tuesday the 15th, West Bloomfield is at home to take on Detroit Edison, looking to keep that undefeated Michigan streak going. Well, that's it for this week, but don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media platforms. We're on all of them, so you won't want to miss a single highlight. Thanks so much for watching. For Lexi, I'm Elizabeth, and we'll see you next time on State Champs W's Hangtime Michigan. State Champs W's Hangtime Michigan is presented by Lawrence Technological University. LTU offers two dozen varsity sports from men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships are available in all sports. Visit l2athletics.com and recruit yourself. Hang Time is also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Detroit Medical Center Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Pros. Do you have a sports injury or are you looking to take your game to the next level? Go where the pros go. Visit dmc.org slash game changers. The Detroit Athletic Club Foundation's Athlete of the Year Award. Applications being accepted now until March 4, 2022 for the Male and Female High School Athletes of the Year. Check out previous winners and download the application today at dacathleteoftheyear.com. Goodman Acker. Clients contact Goodman Acker during one of the most difficult periods of their life. Experienced, ethical, and work hard for you. Call 1-800-TRUSTED and the Basketball Coaches Association of Michigan. BCAM has launched the One Team Campaign, celebrating the great game by promoting unity among teams, coaches, and communities. Find out more at bcam.org.